Whether you're buying or selling your home, get the benefit of expertise. Hey, well, compliments to the show. You're really hitting on the subjects and you're telling the truth. I appreciate you. Meet the team at danjemis.com. And now, filling in for Dan Jemis, your host, Joyce Blackmere. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for listening. I'm Joyce Blackmere, Director of Sales and Broker with the Dan Jemis team. Uh, before we have our chat with Monica, I just want to have a, uh, give a quick reminder of the open houses that the team has going on this afternoon. Uh, ladies? So we have Cassie is at 611 George Kennedy Way in Lakeshore today. She's going to be there from 1 to 3 p.m. And there is another at 529 Laurier in LaSalle. And Fatty will be there from 2 p.m. until 4 p.m. today. Awesome. Go check those open houses out. Mm -hmm. Uh, There's probably quite a few going on um, as well now that spring has sprung. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's a great opportunity to get out and check out some of that new inventory. Okay, so we now have uh, Monica Bundy uh, with us. She is going to talk to us about some new trends in home design and some spring staging tips. Monica, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you, ladies? Awesome. Good, good. We'll get right into this. So um, there are some new trends um, coming out uh, this year as far as design goes. Um, and as far as paint colors go, um, we're still seeing the earthy colors, which is which is nice because it literally, earthy colors like the grays and the beige, um, which the new word is now grayish, <laughs> um, which is so <laughs> funny to me. Um, but the earthy colors are now having a little bit of um, like brightness to them. So we're adding color into the home this year. Um, Benjamin Moore has the color of the year. Um, it's called raspberry blush. It's like a coral with a pink, um, like pink undertones. And it's warm and it's bright. And I'm not saying paint your entire house like coral and pink, but maybe an accident <laughs> wall, maybe a bathroom. But we're seeing um, some color come back into the home this year. Um, Sherwin Williams has a, it's a beige with like a purple undertone. And again, it's like warm and subtle, but we're, we're we're still keeping with the earthy tones, but we're just we're just making them a little bit brighter. So we're bringing color into the home this year. Um, the kitchens, uh, as far as kitchen goes, uh, open open shelving is in, and it's been in for um, at least the last couple of years. Um, we're kind of going away from overstuffed cluttered big cabinets where we just jam everything that we don't want to see on the counter. We, we stuff them into the cabinets. Um, so the shelves become more of a curated gallery, almost like um, you, you put your artwork up there. They become uh, just, you know, put your beautiful kitchenware, um, small vases, frames, the things that you love so that you can see them. And it just um, adds to the kitchen, um, just to gives it a different um, look and feel. Uh, so that's coming in. What they did say, too, is white kitchens are out, which I do not believe and I do not agree with. <laughs> I, I love a white kitchen. It just is so um, clean to me. So anyway, I always say too, if you love it, keep it. So you, we don't have to go with any of these trends. If you love something, you just do what you love. Um, another one is vintage meets modern. Now this is kind of since the, the boom of the whole, you know, um, vintage shopping, um, flea markets and whatnot. If you're fine, if you're looking for vintage pieces, see how you can incorporate that into, um, you know, your, your modern home. So if it's like a vintage vase on a wood or a metal side table, um, you're mixing the two and that just becomes eclectic and fun and just something beautiful. Or if it's your grandma's, you know, um, old vase or lamp, see how you can in- incorporate that into, you know, a new modern look. So that is a, that is a trend that's still going on. Um, and light. Sometimes we forget about our light fixtures and we're just like, ah, oh, whatever. Let's just put something up. We need light. But, um, light is becoming, um, a mix of like, um, art meeting functionality. Uh, lighting right now is so beautiful and there's so many different ways that you can express yourself through the light so um and that's what 2023 is all about is expressing yourself having fun um just making your home your own so those are some of the new uh, design trends that we can hit this year so uh, anything exciting that i mentioned what, what do you gals think about that well i'm not a big fan of pink but i can <laughs> yeah. appreciate color for sure yeah. So yeah. that's that's interesting to see back. And I agree with you. I like a classic white kitchen as I well. I do too. Mm-hmm. I do too. You can accessorize yeah. with color, right? Of yep, course. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. And that leads me into good segue. That leads me into the staging tips, which um so it's time to get rid of the heavy the heavy blankets, the dark 
that we had in the in the winter time and exchange all of those throw blankets and pillows for um, some brighter pillows bring some color into the home again florals um, for spring so that's um, you know swap in some cheerful accents um, bright pillows throw blankets florals um, remove anything that's your heavy winter items um, it's spring it's time we're all ready for it um, another staging tip for spring is get into your garden maybe not today because I think it's just about to start to rain but um, clean up the gardens and just what you said um, Joyce too like your lawn tend to the tend to the lawn especially if you're um, staging your home you want your first um, impression of, of your home uh, from the outside because if you're taking care of your outside people know that you're going to take care of the inside um, spring clean inside too like and I hate doing these things but we've got to do them a couple times a year uh, baseboards windows um and the dreaded ceiling fans we have we to do all of we, have to? <laughs> we have to oh the ceiling fan yes <laughs> <laughs> i don't know how the ceiling fan collects as much dust as it does um i just cleaned mine like a couple weeks ago we had company coming or family coming and i'm like how did this thing get so dirty there's only two of us in this house where is it all coming from but man those things get dirty um so do it do it now and then um don't quote me on this but then do it in like six more months <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's really um, all we can handle. <laughs> twice yeah, a yeah. year's good. <laughs> yeah, twice a year, that's it. Um, and then you know what? Uh, uh, as far as the indoors go, pack up uh, any of your winter items. So um, in the front closet, I know I've got like five winter coats, three pairs of boots. It's time. Let's move those out. Um, and especially if you're staging to sell your house, um, try to free up as much as the closet space as you can. So then it, it makes the closet look, you know, um, a little bit bigger and um, and just airier. Just make the home feel a little bit airier. And then one more um, staging tip for spring um, is your front door. So add a, add a doormat to the front door. Urns um, are beautiful. Pretty soon in a couple of weeks we'll be able to grab some flower baskets. Just pop some of those out. So the, your curb appeal is your first impression to the home. So um, make it a good one. You know, so just uh, it's just time for sp some spring cleaning. <laughs> yes, indeed, indeed. Yep. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for that. Uh, we always love having you on the show, Monica. We appreciate your tips and your insights. Everybody does. I know oh, it. Oh, thanks. So thank Thanks, you so much. Yeah. And while you were talking, um, I received a message, uh, too, from Rob Bassepi, home inspector with Amerispec. Uh, he is all about uh, spring maintenance and uh, yeah. just on the whole spring theme that we've been carrying through the show. Uh, he has uh, sent me a home maintenance uh, seasonal checklist. So anybody who might like a copy of that, I'd be happy to send it to you. You can send me an email, uh, Joyce at DanGemis.com. I'm happy to send that information over to you yeah uh, we, that's a great one too joyce and um just on that like your gutters too all the leaves that came down in the fall yep. it's time to clean out your gutters too it's so important for just you know the flow of the rain everything so it's yep, uh, yeah yeah that would be that's a great one yep rain season is here it's here <laughs> upon us today <laughs> uh, Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Monica. We do need to take another quick break, but if you want to be entered for your chance to win a $50 gift card to the Richmond Popcorn Company, now is your last chance. Text your full name and the keyword movie to 10-800, and we will do that draw as soon as we come back. More to come on the Dan Jemis Real Estate Show.